When comparing tax-exempt bonds with taxable bonds, investors should always compare the after-tax returns provided by each bond. To compare tax-exempt bonds with non-taxable bonds, one must compute the actual after-tax returns considering all taxes on the income earned and realized capital gains. To solve for the after-tax rate of return, we use a simple formula. We use R to represent the before-tax rate of return on the taxable bond and let T represent the combined tax rate for both federal and local taxes. To compute the after-tax returns on a taxable security or bond, we use the formula R times 1 minus T. We then compare the after-tax return to the tax-exempt security. The investor will be better off holding whichever security provides the higher return. Now let's try an example. Suppose your tax bracket is 35%. Would you prefer to earn a 6% taxable return or a 4% non-taxable return? All that we need to do is solve for the after-tax return of the taxable security. We do this by using the formula that you learned in this lesson. If we plug in our figures, we find that the after-tax return is 3.9%, 6 times 1 minus 0.35, which equals 3.9%, which is less than the 4% return provided by the tax-exempt investment. This means that we should invest our money in the tax-exempt security even though the explicit return is lower than the explicit return of the taxable investment. Another way to compare taxable bonds with non-taxable bonds is to find the equivalent taxable return. We'll let R represent the before-tax return offered by the taxable bond, T represent the combined federal and local taxes that the return of the taxable bond is subject to, and RM represent the return offered on the tax-exempt municipal bond. To find the equivalent taxable return, our formula is R equals RM over 1 minus T. Thus, it is simply the taxable yield divided by 1 minus T. The equivalent taxable return increases with higher marginal tax rates. Therefore, tax-exempt municipal bonds are more attractive to individuals in higher tax brackets. If tax-exempt municipal bonds are available at 4% and our tax bracket is 35%, then we simply plug in our values to find the equivalent taxable return. We find that the equivalent taxable return at a 35% tax bracket for a 4% non-taxable bond is 6.15%. Therefore, a taxable bond that yields 6.15% would be equivalent to a tax-exempt bond that yields 4% for a person in a 35% tax bracket. For a taxable bond to be a better investment than a tax-exempt bond, it must offer a before-tax yield of 6.15%. We can also use a formula to calculate the cutoff tax bracket. The formula is 1 minus RM over R. The yield ratio, RM over R, is the key to determining the attractiveness of investing in municipal bonds. The higher the yield, the lower the cutoff tax bracket, and therefore the more individual investors that choose to invest in tax-exempt municipal bonds. Let's plug in our figures from our previous example to find out the cutoff tax bracket. If we do 1 minus 4% over 6%, we find that our cutoff tax bracket is 33.33%. This means that the tax-exempt bond should only be invested by individuals in a 33.33% or higher tax bracket. Anyone in a lower tax bracket would be better off investing in the taxable bond. Over the past 30 years, the tax-exempt to taxable yield ratios have fluctuated around 0.75 or 75%. This implies that an investor whose combined tax bracket is greater than 1 minus 0.75 or greater than 25% will earn a greater after-tax yield by investing in municipal bonds or tax-exempt bonds. It's important to remember that it is difficult to determine the difference in risk, so these comparisons need to be made relative to the riskiness of the bonds that are being compared. 